think as well. Hi there and good evening and welcome to Compassion. Uh, it is nice to be on here. I uh, chickened out <laughs> last week. Um, last Sunday I think I was very tired and, and also, excuse me, I'm just having a bit of chocolate. Um, also, I was veggies last weekend. Excuse me a minute, I'm going to put this on my other page. Or, um, we'll get into some painting in a bit. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, so this is Come Paint With Me. I'm going to get into some painting in a minute. So yes, um, Sunday was kind of veggies last weekend with me as he is just literally, in fact he is on the bus on the way down to uh, to London and um, he's going, he keeps telling me I'm going to Paris, <laughs> he keeps rubbing it in and telling me that he's going to Paris, I'm like that's great but um, I'm not so don't stop the Stop rubbing it in that I'm not going to Paris. <laughs> um, so let me just share that. All right, great. Um, yes, yeah, so he's away for about ten days. I'm just going to turn that off, and uh, I think he'll he'll be back just in time for our holiday. So we're going on holiday to Lincolnshire. Uh, in a couple of weeks time getting a nice uh, break and um, taking Molly Molly's around here somewhere Molly so if I hear bustling outside or if I hear scratching you may see me dart for the door because I don't want her to destroy the carpet or anything like that um, before she just was a nicely sat on my lap so bear with me a second i'm just going to see make sure she's behaving herself molly molly oh, she does doesn't can you she's coming actually so she's very much a, a star of uh and here she is. Hello, Molly. <laughs> Molly the Chihuahua. So now I might have to just paint with uh, with her like this. So um, next week. So yes, move from a Sunday to a Thursday, and next week I am doing a sleep out on Monday night um, for Barnabas, which is the charity that I work for. So I'm sleeping out in a cricket ground, trying to get everything together for that. So can't run come paint with me on Monday night. So for the next few Monday nights, we're going to shift it to Thursday. So Thursday night at 8 p.m. we're going to do um, come paint with me. Uh, oh, so Reggie says, let me know if you've seen my little, my little comment on Facebook that he's uh He's here with me, he's watching, which is very cute. Say hello to Molly, Reggie. <laughs> uh, for everybody who doesn't know, this is my long-haired chihuahua. It's my Christmas gift from last year uh, that we got for, for free. Because uh, God is great and he knows what you need. And uh, dogs and Molly, um, in particular, really feature kind of in our story and um, really feature in both my, if you like, mental health journey, not that I've ever thought I had one till the last couple of years, um, and also just our, our journey with something that we're dealing with as a married couple that I keep alluding to, and I, I don't a name yet, but I will be naming in the in the future. Um, so uh, she is very much the star, a star of the show. Um, so yeah, we've been doing this leaf painting and I'm going to carry it on uh, this week and I think next Thursday is the 31st of um, October I believe it's Halloween 
think that the 31st of October is a thing, as in it, it exists. And I believe it's Halloween, but obviously you all know I'm a Christian, so I don't uh, support or... Um, oh, <laughs> you, you can watch all the, read all the cute uh, messages on Facebook. I don't support Halloween and I don't celebrate Halloween. In fact, I'm doing a paint party on Friday, which is a light party, which is kind of like what we do as Christians um, to kind of like as an alternative. So I'm doing that on Friday. I'm painting at a, 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 a party. I think I know what I'm going to be painting. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'll have come paint with me next Thursday for anybody who is not getting involved in Halloween. And I, yeah, for me, it's just a non-event complete non-event the best thing about halloween or halloween time if you like is pumpkins however i went to costa i will do some painting in a minute i went to costa yesterday um to meet up with a friend and reggie and they did not have pumpkin the one that my favorite latte at this time of year is pumpkin spice latte just like the bomb apparently starbucks do it but costa did not do it i was i was not happy Right, let's get some painting done. Um, but I was going to say something else. But so, Reggie, feel free to have a conversation with me. You can ask me questions. Uh, you can drum up uh, people uh, coming on here. That would be um, great. Uh, yes. So we're nearing the end of October, and uh, in September, some red here. In September, we had a uh, event. The first in person come paint with me event and we are having the second one on the 18th of November and uh, the tickets are already selling for that uh, <laughs> good well done love uh, tickets have already been selling for that um, so uh, still time to get your ticket however there is an early bird price of 30 pounds um, so if you so that will be till next Thursday after next Thursday, uh, the price will go up to £35. Not masses, not masses, but you know, I would really get that ticket before next Thursday because you'll save, you'll save a bit of money. Um, we all want to save a bit of money at the moment. In fact, you know, that, that little bit of money, that little bit of money, uh, you know, you'd be able to buy a coffee with that money. I can't believe now that coffees cost five quid five quid it's just insane um i remember when it was like one pound something or at least two pounds but five pounds for a coffee i mean my my coffee order is like as, as long as your arm it's like yeah you, you have to write down my coffee order hello welcome 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 about to do some painting nice to have you on here uh, my plan not today because i don't have my tech guy with me my tech guy is on facebook at the moment uh, drumming up support for me and um will be answering any comments uh i don't think he'll be on uh instagram um so yes he is not here at the moment so i have not got my app together with zoom However, if anybody wants to come on um, and be a, like to paint with me or stuff or just have a chat in a politeful manner, uh, then uh, that can be arranged. Um, but I did want to have a Zoom, but it's not going to happen this week. So hopefully, maybe next week, if I can get my act together, I can work out how to... Um, how to sort out Zoom because Reg, I was going to ask Reggie to do it before he left, but then he left, and that was the end of that. So yeah, um, what else was I going to tell you? I was going to tell you uh, that. Uh, so obviously, I want you to like, comment, and share this video. Please um, share it all around. Uh, my husband is doing that as we speak. He's doing lots of eats. <laughs> you know, the truth. This is the safest place for her to be, right? Because and I know she's not getting up to mischief because who knows that chihuahuas get up to mischief they really really do yes so uh, she's uh, this is the safest place for her so um, yes uh, please 
please like, comment, share this video. Tell other people about Come Paint With Me. Let's start a community. Let's start a movement. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes, that is my dream, to start a movement called Come Paint With Me. Um, lots of events and different things. Uh, so I want to, this will be going on YouTube. So uh, those on Facebook now, your list will be going on YouTube. Um, so we'll get some audience on there. Hello. Good evening. Oh, Yoli. Oh, hi, Yoli. So nice to see you. I'm excited to see you. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, so this will be going on YouTube. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, because this is all about well-being. This is all about improving our mental health. Um, this is just going to split everywhere, but I'm going to try it. Um, so let's get as many people on these on these calls well not calls on these lives yes on the calls there'll be zoom calls you know at some point i want to start doing that again like we did during the pandemic and um what was i going to say yes but i need to get to 50 subscribers 50 subscribers to be able to uh to be able to go live which actually isn't that many i'm halfway there in fact i'm over halfway there got 28 subscribers well I've literally that's nowhere near enough who's this Gemma Harris hello 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 welcome to come paint with me I'm gonna be doing some painting uh, in a sec I'm just getting my paint out here and just doing a little introduction this is Molly everybody um yes so I need 50 subscribers on YouTube so share the love uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done already. Thank you to those of you that already have. Who's this? The Saint Paul. I don't know everybody, but it's really nice to have you all on here and I'll wave at you. Welcome to Come Paint With Me. And this is Molly the Chihuahua. Um, got some... Oh dear. It looks like a poison bottle spilled. I suggested that we went for Korean... No, I suggested that we went for beans and chips, okay? And... Before, before he left, I just fancied some chips. You know, there are times when you just fancy some chips. Right, I'm trying to decide. Right, okay, I know what I'm gonna do first of all. I'm trying to do my outlines. Um, so I just fancied some chips and he had curry. The thing is, he's not had curry for like, curry, you know, curry that you get from the chip shop. He's not had that for time. He's not had that forever. So basically it's not, fallen so well with him so he's not feeling great and he's on a on a bus he's on a bus on the way to uh london so um uh be healed be healed in jesus name my love <laughs> um so oh dear that's all i can say oh dear husband oh dear that wasn't the smartest thing to do was it <laughs> I will be okay, he says. Yeah, you will be okay. This is true. Right, you're not to eat this, Molly. Um so yes, yeah, so fifty subscribers YouTube, not so not so bad. You know, I think that is possible. At least I reckon by Christmas I'll be able to be doing these lives on YouTube. Uh, I can get the white paint out. Ooh. Right. That was quite a lot of white paint there, but we'll let's go with it. That was a load of white paint, so I don't know what I'll be painting after this. To, uh, I mean, that's quite, I want quite a... Uh, so what I want to do is kind of... As you can see, I have a makeshift... Uh, this is the tiniest studio ever. Everything just falls over and everything... Right, okay. Um, so, <laughs> I've got two easels. In fact, I've got three. So you can see that this is an easel, but this is a table easel. But obviously I've got to try and work out how to uh, position everything. Um, but what I want to do is kind of like do this. It gives it a bit more effect. I'm just going to go and press the button here. This is not a bit, this, this is actually too, too flat. They can hardly see that. Um, what was I going to say? 
Yeah, so make makeshift, hoping it doesn't all fall fall down. Um, got an easel there that my dog loves to chew. I've got an easel here, but just so difficult to put up. And you know what? I had the time, could have put them up, but usually hubby hubby puts up my. Be careful, you don't paint the dog. Yes, I'm gonna try and not paint the dog. That is my plan, not to paint the dog. And also not to put my brush in my teeth, which often happens when you're a, you're an artist. For any of you that are artists out there, and also rubbing paint all over your face when you work. <laughs> Occupational hazards of being an artist. Too much water on there, but we're going to try with another brush. Um, yes, what was I going to say? Uh, so yeah, I've just kind of like, with a box and some chairs, I've made my own easel, do-it-yourself easel. Uh, sometimes, I mean you would have seen in a little crumb where I lent it against the wall and was praying please that I don't want to mark the wall. Yeah, I'm going to be careful not to paint the dog. But honestly, Reggie, if I don't have her here like this, she's going to be eating things and I'm just going to be a bit frantic of where she is. Um, So this the this the thing with the, these lives that I do is that this is not about me showing people how to paint. This is just about people joining me on the journey because um, and the the thing about it painting. So sometimes you might watch me and go, "Gosh, can that girl even paint?" But I mean, obviously that's kind of a matter of opinion, isn't it? Some people will love what I do, some people will hate what, hate what I do, and that's fine. But you can see behind me more paintings. Um, so I'm very excited because I've just managed to um, get a, sorry, what's the word, charge my camera, my DXLR camera, which means I can take proper photos of my paintings, which means the new ones I can put on line but also I can have ready to have prints made of them so I've got some paintings coming coming up in the next few weeks that I'll be showcasing on social media and all over the place and you'll be able to get prints of them so that's very exciting um, so I was talking about okay that's this is the right size I was talking about um, you know with all this paint I'm gonna end up painting all night because uh, there'll be a lot to a lot to uh, to use um, yes so I was talking about how I want to see you know on Instagram not Instagram yeah I want to see more followers on Instagram more followers on Facebook and more followers on YouTube yes don't paint the dog um, but uh, so today I was talking to some people about TikTok and they were like you know the way to get a shed load of followers is to go on TikTok. So I thought, right, okay, I'll sell this this device on Facebook, this device on Instagram, this device on TikTok. Well, I go on TikTok and lo and behold, you have to have a thousand followers. A thousand followers! Oh my word! Before you can go on live. Now, maybe it's easy to get a thousand followers, but... Um, I have 77 so far because I've only really started on TikTok and I've not done TikTok kind of continuously. I've been working more on YouTube and Instagram. Oh my gosh, and you can just spend your whole life doing all this stuff, can't you? So I really need to find the strategy so that it's um, so that it's not so time consuming because we can't spend all our life on social media, can we? Like, I don't know about you, but I have a life outside and I'm sure we all have a life outside. And, and we need to paint, right? We need actual time to paint. So I can't be on social media all the time. So we've got to find a way to make it work. Um, so, I mean, this is a plug, shameless plug. Follow me on TikTok and I'll, and I'll be able to get to a thousand, a, a thousand followers. Who knows? Even maybe before Instagram. I'm nearly there on Instagram. I'm on 775. And it's not all about the numbers. But in terms of being able to have influence and you know the message to get out there and stuff, 
it kind of helps. So, I'm aware that these leaves are not looking very autumn-like. They need to look more, um, more autumn-like. But I just like the effect of kind of like the white with the, uh, can you okay? Um, the white on the black. So I'm just going to carry on with that for a minute. Um, and then I'm going to paint some brown into this. So people that are on uh, Instagram, if there's anybody on here, then feel free to ask a question, put a comment. Um, that'll be grand. And the same on uh, on Facebook. Um, Joy and Reggie in his discussion <laughs> with me. Um, we, you know, we've had some we've had some nice discussions in the past. Um, this is episode seven. Uh, Molly's getting a little bit restless. Uh, Molly has her own Instagram. Her Instagram is Molly Killy Houdini Van Dinter. Um, I think I've said a number of times that it's because she's a great escape artist. But we're getting wise to her tricks. So what she does is she kind of like she's doing it now. Can you see? She's trying to get ahead of this little pink thing here. Yeah. To try and get out so she can so she can get out but I don't think she wants to I think she's happy see her paws are just kind of like draped over me um so yes uh just a few more whites here mm. um so I'm gonna try and put some I'm gonna mix some brown and yellow because I really want to get a kind of golden and yellowy brown, which you know could be could be interesting. Let's see if there's any more. No, not for now. Oh, he's only just telling me not to paint the dog, which is fair enough. We should not be painting the dog. Um. So, so yeah. So come paint with me. It's all about um, promoting healthy mental health. Uh, we started for those that have um, we started during the pandemic and then for whatever reason I kind of dropped it for a while um, and I was I was still being an artist but I was um, doing kind of other things um, had a we moved around a lot we actually went on a kind of a, of a travel around the UK a bit difficult to paint when you're traveling around the UK it's also difficult to um, do like I mean I could have done we did do some social media but I didn't do anything with, with the art side which I wrote maybe I should have done but for whatever reason I didn't um, and so I dropped it for a while sometimes you get a bit disillusioned don't you if um, if it's not happening the way you want it to um, but I've learned that you've just got to keep going so it was interesting we were talking about this today we were talking about um, disappointment um, and I'm sure those of you that are watching this you know you've all you've all we've all been disappointed sometimes we can be and sometimes we don't want to hope again we don't want to dream because we think we're gonna get disappointed but then we get into like a kind of a bit of a spiral of like you know hopelessness and uh, and thinking there's no point expecting anything there's no point dreaming of anything there's no point you know putting my heart on the line because we're just going to get disappointed again but disappointment is a part of life isn't it um you know we'll we all get disappointed in a large way or a small way and there's a bible verse actually that um not that this is this program is not so much about that but it you know, when I was thinking about disappointment, um, the, um, it says, heart, hope deferred makes the heart sick. Um, and so it's so important to have something to look forward to. So important. Um, but I think even, even with the best will in the world, even when, um, you know, you do have that expectation and whatever uh you know we still we still get disappointment i think 
I think the pandemic was probably one of the most disappointing times ever, wasn't it? I remember, you know, I did, like I said, I did all these lives and stuff through the pandemic and I did all the, um, I did a lot of painting. I did a whole Christmas card collection during the pandemic. Um, and for, for us, even as a couple, it wasn't particularly a quiet time. Uh, it was quite a busy time. Uh, we did we did lots of reaching out to people. I need a brush that. <laughs> well, I need a brush that I can mix the paint with, without without it um, without using it. Maybe that's on the line. Let's see. Do need some more. <coughs> so loud I'm sorry <laughs> so loud for everybody out there um what was I gonna say yeah so um so what I want to say um is that even though you could be disappointed at some point um it's so important to to dream to hope to look forward um, but one of the things that we did um, I'm not sure I'm going to do this so I'm going to like oh that's a nice colour ooh I like that I like that colour I'm going to have to go over the top a few times because I did put that light in go into the gloom and you're going to need to use like a um, some water to kind of um oh I'm using that brush I didn't mean to use that brush if I put her down she's going to cause mayhem <laughs> um so just show you that you see that oh you probably can't see it but there's a nice orangey brown there uh, that I've managed to make so it's got a little bit of red in little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown. Um, because, okay, so, so yes, yeah, so the truth is, you may hope for something, you may dream of something, and life doesn't always go the way that you want it to go. Like, um, for myself and Reggie, you know, something happened in our lives and life didn't go the way that we particularly wanted it to go. And, you know, there's in, the, in a moment, Apart from a miracle, there's nothing that we can do about it. We'll talk more about that another day. Um, but it's important to carry on dreaming, carry on hoping, because there may be disappointment. But if you don't put your heart on the line, if you don't um, have something to look forward to, if you don't dream, if you don't hope, then it just leaves you in the he here and now. And if the here and now is not is not fun is not um doesn't you know doesn't excite you if it's a bit boring then you can be like well is this all there is and that's kind of like when you get um a bit depressed so i'll give you an example for us as a couple date night is pretty much sacred so for all the married couples out there um and I may talk about this on my other channel. So I've got another, and we've got several channels, but anyway, uh, we've got one called Measurably More, and it's more of a more of a God channel, more of a talking about uh, what God's saying and stuff like that. And on Monday, Monday, no, not Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, I talked about um, singleness. Um, so yeah, the, I mean the truth is, so I was single for a very long time, and I'm not going to go massively into the whole single journey now if you want to hear my story uh go over to measurably more um i think it's measurably more ministries and you'll hear more about my story as a single person and i might say you know but every time every and i and i and one of the things i say is that i wasted so much time and and i went through so much disappointment I mean, I went through 
disappointment after disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. And, you know, I would go, is it this guy? And uh, it would just be, they were like dead ends. The dog is eating my hair. Oh no, no, she's eating my jumper. What did you find on my jumper that you're eating? Is that chocolate? <gasps> Gosh, you can't give dogs chocolate. She'll be eating chocolate. She'll find it anywhere, like crazy. Um, so yeah, as a, as a single person, I went through disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Um, and in some ways, you know, it kind of, ooh, well, the, through the edges, kind of like brown. Like that. I don't know about this one. I think I need to put some, I need to put, take shape I'm excited it's starting to take shape um yeah so um and but it's funny with Reggie uh I didn't have time to be disappointed I didn't have time to think it was just like a complete like whirlwind of like it was the craziest thing ever um and I, mean, I don't know if I ever thought, gosh, is this is this going to turn out the same way? I think because I just knew that this was for real. And even though the, uh, every other time, and we are talking, I mean, ri really ridiculous, 10 or 20 times. We'd get my, heart, my hopes up about a guy, and then they would just be dashed again and again and again and again and again. They would end up liking somebody else, uh, and they would end up marrying somebody else. And I just had so many um, disappointments. And, and what disappointment can do is it can make your hard heart and it can stop you hoping and dreaming again. Um, so yeah, I uh, want to encourage you to, uh, to, even though you could be disappointed, to go for it, to take a risk. Because who knows, this time it may, it may come out, this time, it may it may pan out um, you know don't don't give up um, because isn't it the whole thing that um, so often we the time that we gave up is a time that it actually could have could have come into being and we'll never know because we gave up so um, yeah I mean and of course, you know, for me, there's one that never disappoints, and that is that is God. He'll never, he never disappoints us. Um, we can always, you know, go to him. But if you want to know more about that, go over to my my other channel. Um, but so yeah, I mean, hey, even like with painting, right? <laughs> we can end up painting something. We can end up creating something, and it can end up being a total a total disappointment. It can be like oh it didn't actually go as well as i wanted it to go um but you just got to keep going and that's just um that's just so important uh and even like if you do something and you do an event or like i don't know you put your heart and your soul into something and then it disappoints um or the the outcome of that thing so you say you, you do a painting or you write a book and 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 you're disappointed because it actually doesn't go anywhere you, it's so important to use every experience as a learning experience so if say you write a book so just for example a book i've started to write a bit um gonna the plan is to write quite a bit but we're not there yet um i just always seem to have a billion and one things to do but um, say you write a book and you you put it out there and nobody's interested, right? I think it's happened to many writers, and who knows? It probably will. It might even happen to me. Um, you know, you're disappointed because it's like, well, you know, what was the point in that? 
Well, perhaps the point in that was that, you know, you learn how to write a book. You learn how to market it. You learn how to do certain things. And maybe if you get it all right and you can work out, okay, that thing I did right, that thing I didn't do right. And, you know, it, it's so important to, to um, take life as a learning experience. Everything can be a learning experience. Um, and then disappointments are not wasted um, because our life takes up some like no I'm just playing ladies and gents I'm just playing I'm enjoying myself playing with a bit of yellow and a bit of orangey brown um but yeah ooh look at that don't know if you can see that but we've just kind of mixed this colouring of the, the golden brown into the yellow um and then having some, we'll have some more yellow as well. It's taken a few weeks to get to this point where we, we're in, because then we can pull out of it. Obviously we've got green, but and it's just like a, Hmm. Well, the curls, now I need to go back over it with the black and the white to kind of, but um, I quite like the, I don't know, I'm going to go without the green again, but it's just worth pulling it in, just to work into it to be kind of, hmm, I like that. I've got some of these here that are just a bit weak, <laughs> so I need to work with them. Are you getting a bit antsy? Are you getting a bit antsy? Are you okay? Say hello to the camera. Say hello. Say hello Molly. This is Molly everyone. Reggie, do you miss Molly? <laughs> Are you okay? I heard a bit of whimpering then. I will take her out to the toilet uh, when we're done. But um, yes, so, um, so something about well, going back to come paint with me uh you know um because when we talk about disappointment we're talking about you know disappointment can really put a dint in our mental health it can really cause us to have issues it can take us into into depression if we don't um if we don't use it if we don't use those experiences to um to help us gain more resilience or to help us gain, like to look at it as a learning experience. Um, and to also to see the good things in that thing that we were disappointed about. Like sometimes, you know, it might not have gone as well as we were hoping for, say it was a book launch or something like that, but what were the good things? What were the good things that came out of that? What was the, what are the, what is the good memories that you got from that? Um, it's so important. Because if we just look at the bad, it can it can make us really spiral, um, and we can end up getting more depressed. Um, and you know we don't we don't want to do that, do we? We don't want to go down the, the the depression route at all. Oh, ladies and gents, I am loving this colour. I'm gonna have to go over it again with the black and the white, but well. I am loving that colour. Oh, I'm enjoying myself. I don't know if you're enjoying this, but I'm enjoying myself painting this evening. And it's so funny, you know, every time it's almost like, and I'll, I'll let you into a bit of a, a secret. Sometimes it's almost like, really, I get quite, I'm not anxious, but I'm not anxious. Like, oh my goodness, like, am I going to be able to do this? Oh, I tell you guys, imposter, sy imposter syndrome is a real thing and it is something that I have to battle all the time I have to battle it in my job I have to battle it as an artist I have to battle it all the time um, because you know those lies that go through your head that say you can't do it that say you're not good enough um, that say you know it's not worth trying uh, and even myself as a Christian 
And I believe, you know, that I have the Spirit of God. I believe that, you know, He speaks to me even then. He really tries it on. Oh my goodness, He tries it on. And when I say He, I'm talking about the other side, the, the enemy side. Um, he tries to, you know, tell me that I'm not good enough, that I can't do it, that I can't paint, and all of that. And yet, the truth is, not everyone's going to like my stuff. But, um, you know, I've, I've, I've realized recently that there are people that do. Um, I suppose it's about finding out. So, I mean, I'm on a quest to find my community, find the people who, who we can make the world beautiful together. Um, so I've been writing my values and my, um, my dreams and my visions in terms of art and in terms of being an artist recently. And you may have seen on my Etsy, um, and this, you know, again, my, uh, I want to say crusade because that's not the right um, word, but my um, desire, my drive, my vision is to help improve people's mental health through art. Obviously, as a Christian, I believe that we can, you know, and, and, and actually, the dream is that the, like my, my faith and, and art and to bring them together and those together can really improve uh, people's mental health. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I believe that art can because it's a way that we can express ourselves and even if we can't necessarily, um, we can't necessarily, uh, we do, we're not particularly skilled, uh, what, what I'm saying, um, then you know, it can still improve our mental health because we're just having a go. You know, that's my phrase, having a go. Um, so yes, yeah, so you may have seen, if you're anywhere, you've been on my Etsy, I've got an Etsy account. You can order prints off there. <laughs> just getting comfortable. <laughs> You can order prints off there and um, yeah so that to, to splash color okay as an artist um, and you know you can either you can come paint with me and you could learn to, to to bring color into your life and you can do your own painting and and, and put that up but also um, you know as an artist I want to you know my my paintings and you can see you can see there's a, there's a butterfly one behind me uh, can you see the butterflies behind me? Like bright oranges and butterflies. You know, I want to bring that into your living room, into your bathroom, into your bedroom, into your into into your space. You know, we want to make your space colourful. Um, talking with people at the moment about um, uh, uh, fabrics and stuff, and so uh, you know, my my um, vision, my you know what the word is uh, desire. Where I'm going is to colour your life, okay? We don't have to live in in, in black, in drab, in grey. And actually, you know, when we do live in black or we live in grey or brown or just murky colours, do you know what? That says a lot about our where our hearts are at, where our mental state is at. Um, it says a lot about our lives. And so I want to, you know, if you colour your life, if you start to wear clothes that are brighter it will just make you feel better if you start to have some brightness around you it just brings hope it brings joy um, and obviously um, I'm a I'm, I'm a Christian and so I believe and, and I want to bring heaven into people's living rooms okay that's that's what I want to see heaven in people's living rooms um, because art is a powerful it's a very, very powerful tool, um, and I uh, want to see it used to uh, to bring healing and to bring, you know, to bring heaven into your situation. Um, so, that's a bit red. I've two red, two red. I've got uh, carried away with talking, and uh, now I've got the wrong colour, <laughs> but we'll get there. Um, yeah, so I'd love you to allow me um, to do that. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not, you know, I can't always say I'm, I'm there, but my desire as well is to, you know, bring heaven's colours into your living room. Um, that you would look at, look at that piece of art and it would just 
bring that joy it would just bring that hope uh, it would just bring that inspiration um, so so yeah that's what I'm that's what I'm looking to do that's what I want to as an artist that's what I want to um, create in people you know that inspire hope inspire inspire joy um, because it is possible um, and especially when you know we, we you know we face difficult things so many of us that have faced um, difficult things um, but I want to put this joy back in people's lives through art so whether that is you being part of one of my events or whether it's you owning a piece of art antics art uh, that will just um, you'll just be able to look at it and get inspired look at it and think wow life is a bit more beautiful um, it will be able to just make you start dreaming again making you start wanting to go outside again making you want to live life making you want to define the, these colors in life because uh, you know when, when I when I became a Christian or, or when I connected with God you know life it's like life came to life you think you're living and then you realize what true life is and let me tell you life is colorful it's not drab it's not dark there's beauty out there I, I live by the hills um, and I'm fortunate that I look out my window and I can see the hills um, behind behind the houses um, but yeah there's so much there's so much beauty out there oh what are we doing we're going we're staying <laughs> um right, i'm going to paint this one in the corner Too. Shall I let her go for a bit? I'm going to let her go. There's everybody. There's Molly. Say bye bye to Molly for now. Do you know what? She's going to be my little hot water bottle tonight. But she, she, I've got her down, and she's literally just trying to find something to chew. I think she might ask me, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Are you going to do that? Are you going to say, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up? No, she's, what can I chew? What can I, how can I get, how can I be mischievous? Yeah, she's like eating one of my palettes. Excuse me a minute, I don't watch she's eating. What are you eating? No. Honestly, my word. Let somebody send me a message. Yeah. So I don't know if anybody wants to talk to me about, uh, but I just wrote some words down here, and um, you know, life. When we do the same old every day, I've got the privilege um, that um, I don't do the same every day. My my day from one day to the next looks very different, um, and I think that has to do with being an artist, and especially like when I get to paint and stuff and do be creative and that. And actually, you know what? Being creative, um, and even if you're you don't think you're creative, there's all sorts of ways that you can be creative. I think it brings it fights against boredom because um, creativity it brings life it brings difference it brings uniqueness it brings something something different it brings um the opposite of boredom into your life i think when you're creative like basically creativity is kind of the opposite of boredom i think a lot of people oh man i can hear my dog and i have a horrible feeling she's getting into mischief i don't know what to do with this one um, Molly, well, you're going to shout Molly a lot. Um, yeah, so I want to encourage you.
get creative there's all go on pinterest you know there's all sorts of ways that you can get creative do you know what there's no reason to be bored in this life there's so much to do there's and and it's not about being busy it's about doing the right thing doing things that are going to be good for your well-being and and creativity and it might be knitting it might be sewing <laughs> you've got me in a ball so you want me to play with it i'm painting right now and i'm talking to people so i don't think i'm going to be able to paint on uh, not paint um but you know what if i don't do that she will start woofing what she does she starts woofing hopefully she won't start woofing but she's just enjoying eating the rope at the moment but this dog i've had a not just not uh, almost a year you know how many toys she's been through she's been through so many toys anyway what was i going to say yeah life is beautiful and a creativity just brings out the beauty of life now when you're creative there are people that are creative that you know they go to they go to the dark side um because the thing with art the thing with creativity is it it, it, it helps you to connect into the spiritual and w when we live on this this is deep okay when we live on this side and we just live what we see the practical the real the real the tangible um that's when we get bored so we can end but when we're creative we tap into the spiritual but obviously there's a, a dark spiritual and there's a light spiritual there's a uh, there's a, a what we call devil type um spiritual but there's a godly spiritual there's a kingdom of god spiritual and obviously i would encourage you to tap tap into that because creativity is at the heart of god creativity it's what brings beauty to life it, it, it's what brings um the kingdom of all the amazing beautiful things uh to our world because actually in the good kingdom of god spiritual realm of all those beautiful amazing things peace hope joy and what does joy look like joy looks like in the in the in the in the if we make it pictorial it looks like color it doesn't look like gray um so so yeah so i want to encourage you you know if you don't think you're creative if you've never been creative get creative it will bring um something beautiful and amazing to your life and there's like i said there's all sorts of maybe writing i uh i met um, a guy today uh incredible poet oh my word what an incredible poet uh he was just phenomenal the way that he could craft um some words was just amazing i meet some amazing people in my job and here we go she is telling me i'm sorry about this all right molly i know you want me to play so here we go i hope we need to go and buy the rope so i throw it down the stairs so that she uh she takes a while to come back from her work but if she, and here she is she's back already you see so it's a good job it's kind of like we're getting towards the end of the tour you know you can, um so as you can see i've kind of put some i'm running out of my yellow to be honest some yellow there so interesting that oh i've had it on here it's kind of all yellowy um yeah so um find a way to be creative um what maybe it's through crafts maybe you're not into painting and art so much but it's through crafts sewing knitting um well gosh maybe i'll um you could comment with uh, different ways to be uh, creative but there are so many there really are so many ways to be creative 
and um, it will just bring another a, a, a new dimension to your life when we get so busy or when we get so like um not just busy but just sucked into life you know making money all those things we can kind of forget to be creative um but being creative is one of those things that brings us joy um, and you you find that like with lots of people you'll notice that that it's bringing it's it's a it's when they're creative they're their most they're the most joyful i don't know where this I'm just gonna gonna do a summary of uh, what I've said. I'm gonna put my TikTok on, and I'm going to try to show you TikTok. So bear with me a second. Um, nice. I'm hoping it's not gonna come up with. Should just come up with what I want to. See, this is what I didn't want. This is what I didn't want. Uh, right. I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> ah, perfect. There we go. Right. Okay. So, um, been on the uh, Facebook and Instagram for the past um, hour. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna do an extra ten minutes. Uh, so this is come paint with me for those on TikTok, and I'm painting a, a, a leaf painting. I've been able to. I'm just been adding some oranges and some browns this evening. Um, but when we're, we're getting towards the end of this, so do you know what I'm gonna do? See the grey. We were talking about how how grey oh i need to there's lots of massive shining light things there um but we we're talking about how gray and drab uh you know that's that's not the the hallmarks of of artantics and it's not the hallmarks of a of a person who is full of life uh we were talking about um it's funny you know when i was a when i was a youngster <laughs> when i was a teenager I loved black, absolutely loved black. I would wear black everything. But as I've got older, I've realized that that was the, um, so I'm gonna put some brown in the background. Um, I am thinking of putting some color into these gaps, okay? That will make it a real kind of like art antics uh, painting. Um, because I'm thinking of like something a bit like this, but maybe a lot more whiter. Uh, so, show you that. Yeah. So I'm thinking about. Um, we are planning to get this type, this sort of thing on fabric very soon. Very excited about about doing that. There we go. Okay, spot. Um. So. Um, so I'm just going to put some brown in there now because it works better with um, my dog you can hear for, for TikTok. Uh, let me show you my dog who's on this new channel. Molly, are you going to come here? You see there? So I'm thinking I might like put some like pattern in there. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But I think that would be quite nice. But we're gonna make. I think it was brown earlier, and I made it. Um, I made it grey. But we'll see. What's that you got, Molly? No. So she found one of my cuddly toys. Right. Let me show. Let, it's wet because you've been eating it. No, you're not having it. TikTok here. Is Molly? Say hello, Molly. 
You can see that, see this here. She wants to eat this. She wants to eat it. She's not let, I'm not letting her eat it. No. You have, she has a panda. She has a panda downstairs that she bonks uh, and that she eats on a, on a regular basis. So there's no need for her to have a, uh, an elephant. I said that was an elephant. So I've got lots of brown here. So I just want to, just want to use up my brown basically, because how else am I going to use my brown? Although I was, um, I could put a bit more yellow on actually. We've got these here and I need to turn them into leaves. Um, but I, I, we might start with some more, so I'll put some more yellow actually. Um, so this is like my live painting TikTok. So you can meet you so I'll put a lot of yellow there. So but it's funny how, how yellow goes quite fast when you're doing this. Oh, loving that colour. Look at that. I don't really know what happens with this, I need to change that. Because that doesn't even work. So we're just going to paint over a few bits. Um, so there'll be lots of different things on this on this TikTok channel. There'll be Molly. Uh, you'll see me and my husband and stuff. and. Uh, we just kind of combine it all and so there'll be uh, obviously art because art is a big part of who I am and we're talking about come paint with me uh, so uh, come paint with me uh, the uh, in-person event is coming up at uh, in Rochdale on the 18th of November there'll be flyers going out shortly and uh, tickets are already being sold the early bird price will unless you've been in touch with me uh will be um diminishing will be stopping uh, next thursday and incidentally we will be going or uh, we'll be going live next thursday and um i will i know it's halloween but i'm going to be continuing to do what i do because i don't do halloween at all not in what i do um I think I actually need to paint this one here, but I'm I'm really liking, and I know I need to paint some more into this. Uh, I think I know where I'm going with this now, actually, because that's that's what. Um, so yeah, we've been talking um, tonight about um, mental health, and we talked about disappointment, and um, the fact that you know just because you may get disappointed about something. It doesn't mean that you, you know, you don't try, um, because even when things don't turn out the way we want them to, I think one of the things that disappointment, if it's used correctly, uh, and you're able to kind of like, okay, that's disappointing, but I'm going to take out the good things from that. I'm going to, um, I'm going to learn from that. I'm going to learn from that experience. I'm going to learn from that thing that I've just done and next time I'm going to do it better. If we learn to do that, then we can change disappointment around for our, for our benefit. Say hello to this person. Hello, hello. Thank you for coming on. Um, uh, and what it does is I actually think that if we use it in the right way, it can build resilience. And I think one of the things that we need at the moment with everything that we're doing is resilience. And I uh, remember we talked a lot about it in one of my old jobs when I worked with young people. And it, it appear, uh, it, you know, it seems like, you know, there's a, there's a mental health um, illness epidemic at the moment. Everybody you talk to, I mean, particularly in my line of work, but everybody you talk to at some point or another I struggle with their mental health um, I think because we are we're willing to talk about it in a way that we weren't before there's there's not as much stigma stigma but the amount of people who 
who struggle in a very serious way about their mental health is off the charts um and you know in our in my line of work i see it all the time um and so but i think one of the, th the kind of like antidotes okay i'm a christian so i'm going to say jesus is an antidote for for having mental health issues and that's how i have managed it as well with art and saying that having bringing art and um art and my faith in uh, in jesus and you know in um in the spiritual realm and having a relationship with god and art have been the two things that have really uh helped me and you know i believe kept me on track and even when i've had disappointments because i've alluded to the fact that um you know there's there's a massive disappointment in my life and it's not over it's not over and who knows if you know it's gonna materialize i'm gonna believe i'm gonna have faith i'm gonna trust that it you know it still can the only way is through a miracle um <clears throat> but rather than um just kind of like wallow in that and dwell it dwell <laughs> dwell in that um you know i'm going to uh allow it to make me uh more resilient and um also to help other people so that's another way that we can use disappointment to um to help other people who are going through a similar sort of thing um to us so uh i will be back with come paint with me um there'll be more videos like this and for now tiktok has been it's been great i will see you very soon this has been the autumn leaves painting and there'll be more of this soon right okay so i'm going to that's going to be that's it for tonight um this has been come paint with me thank you for joining us everybody thank you for joining us uh <laughs> my hubby is almost in cambridge uh thank you for joining us uh feel free, please a uh, like comment share this video um uh, like comment and share the other the other kind of like videos the little ones that i'm short ones that i'm going to put on this will be on youtube very shortly 